I can't watch either side of the media anymore. I, I want to start by asking you if you're somebody that needs blood, if you're somebody that needs um, to be angry, if you're somebody that needs to rub the nose of whomever in whatever, this is not the show for you. If you're tired of all of this, if you think we're better than this, if you think we have to solve this problem, then this is the show for you. But uh, the, the way we're going, the world has gone before. The way we're going will end with either the communists rounding up and slaughtering those who disagree with them, or the Nazis rounding people up that disagree with them and slaughtering them. I'm sorry, but I don't have a thing in common with these Nazis and the white supremacists. None of it, none of them. My gosh, I've, I've, I've gotten in trouble on both the right and the left for talking about the evils of Nazis for, for, for the last 15 or 20 years. I want nothing to do with them. And I also want nothing to do with the radical anarchist communists who show up in black masks with baseball bats and burn our cities down. I want nothing to do with people who are saying, our heritage is our white heritage. And I want nothing to do with people who are saying, our heritage is our black heritage. It's not. We are humans. All of us, each of us. I can't take the left and I can't take the right. I can't, I can't watch either side of the media anymore. Does anybody, does anybody really care about our country anymore? The Democrats co-opted a very small sliver of radicals that despise capitalism, that despise America, that despise white people, that despise the cops. They co-opted them, thinking they could control them. They'll bring them in because it will add fuel. Now, right, if you're shaking your head right now going, yep, that's exactly what they did. And you'll shake your head even more when I say, and they lost that battle. They have lost their soul. Those guys are the heart of the party, not the average Democrat, but the party. Now, let me speak to the left. And you're going to shake your head. And the Republicans are all going to be pissed. But the Republicans did the same damn thing. First of all, it was the Republicans that started the progressive movement. So they've had progressives in their ranks from the very beginning. But what have they done in the last three years? They've co-opted the alt-right. Because why? Because they're racist? No. Because every vote counts. And so we'll use them. And what's happening? The same thing that happened to the Democrats. And why did each side do it? Because it drives money and it drives votes. Hate drives money and drives votes. And so where does that leave the average person? Well, 80% of Americans haven't seen a wage increase. Most Americans have their kids in a school that they know is not preparing their children for anything other than politically correct living, other than living in a Marxist state. It's not preparing them for anything. There's no actual 
education happening. There's a re-education happening in our failing schools. And you know what? Don't tell me that that's a thing on the right because the left knows it. Watch, watch the lefties talk about education at TED Talks where they condemn the failing American education system. The left knows it too. We both do. None of us can afford college anymore for our kids. Barely any of us can afford health care anymore. That's what's happening with 80% of the nation, maybe more. Are you seeing those people reflected at all? No, no, no. Instead, both parties are doing their best just trying to get reelected. This is all about 2018 and 2020. This isn't about anything else. This isn't about you. This isn't about real problems. This is about 2018 or 2020, period. That's all this is about. Dividing and spreading lies about 50% of the population. Well, I want to make sure you understand. If you're watching the left media, they're lying about 50% of the population. And if you're watching the right media, they're lying about the other 50% of the population. The truth is, there's probably 10% of those freaks on the right and 10% of those freaks on the left. And the rest of us want nothing to do with them. It's why I reject both parties and I reject the media, both right and left. I want nothing to do with you. I will remove myself from the game happily before I lose my soul.